let's hit the open road. And we are bringing along our furry friend. So today, I'm gonna give you some solid advice on how to keep your puppy happy, healthy, and safe while on a road trip. Michelle here with How to Train a Dream Dog. First, let's talk about the packing list. Now you take care of your packing and I'll help you with the puppy stuff. Now of course, you want a crate or a car harness safety belt for your puppy. Please, no lap sitting. It's incredibly unsafe. Now I've got a car seat belt and a harness that I recommend, so check out the description below for the link. I also recommend that if your puppy moves around a lot, get a seat belt cover so that your puppy doesn't step on it and unbuckle themselves while you're driving. Now, some of my students also use a doggy hammock to have that extra layer of protection that keeps their pup from stepping forward into the front seat. Just remember, the hammock is in addition to the seatbelt. So be sure to bring all of your dog's supplies, like their food and their medicine, as well as any vaccination information, in case some parks or hotels need to see it. Bring enough dog food for the entire trip, plus a little extra, just in case. It's not good to switch their food without going first through a slow transition to something new. Next up, you'll want a water bowl and make sure it's easy to find when driving. I don't want you to feed your dog a big meal right before driving, but definitely offer a little water periodically. Now, I usually pack some extra paper towels and bath towels for any accidents in the car, like a little throw up or some spills, or if you need to wipe their paws off. Now, be sure to bring your long and your short leash as well. The long leash is great for sniffing and exploring at parks while taking a driving break. And the short leash, it's good if you're going inside any stores or walking through any hotel lobbies. Bring some calming tools for hotel rooms or downtime. These are things like Kongs, chew toys, or fillable puzzle toys to keep your dog's brain busy. This will also help him decompress if it's been a long journey. More on that in just a minute. And also, don't hesitate to use the Adapto Calming Spray. It'll be nice if your dog has some familiar items too. Now, if he's got a snuggle puppy or a blanket he enjoys and he's not a chewer, bring it. A few of his favorite toys are gonna help stave off boredom in the hotel room. It'll also really help you in the hotel room if you have a white noise machine and some way to play some calming music. Now, he's gonna be hearing a lot of new noises that might agitate him, so bring something to help drown out all the unfamiliar sounds. Dog-friendly hotels often have a lot of dogs and you might hear more barking, so try to cover that up if you can. You might want a pet camera too. It's a nice peace of mind to be able to peek in and check on your dog while you're away. And if you need some more tips on things to help calm your dog, this video is gonna give you some great ideas. Now the awesome advice in that video is gonna be perfect for you while you're in your hotel room. Here are a few tips for the car portion of your adventure. Make sure you have a plan for your meals. Now you can't leave your dog in the car to go in and have lunch, so you'll need to tag team this with another human or take all your meals to go from the drive-through. And yes, if you're driving solo and you need a bathroom break, sorry, Charlie, but you gotta take the dog with you because a dog left in the car can lead to overheating and someone breaking your window to try to save your dog. It just may happen. They may not have known that you've only been gone for a minute. Now, we don't recommend giving your dog a drug to make him sleep the whole trip. Some drugs have the opposite effect, especially if you've never given it to your dog before. Now your vet might recommend some anti-car sickness meds like Dramamine. Whatever you do, just be sure you try out this medicine before the actual road trip. You wanna watch your dog's reaction to the medicine, how long it takes to take effect, how long until it wears off, and note any behavior changes. That's gonna allow you to make any adjustments to dosage and timing now that you know how it works with your dog. So remember, having a dog with you is gonna slow down your journey just a bit, and that's okay. Humans might be able to drive for four or five hours without stopping for a bathroom break, but your dog might not be able to. Everything will take a little more time, so add that into your planning. Now, it's gonna really help to know ahead of time where you plan to stop along the way. Parks, grassy sport fields, schools, or church parking lots after hours are all really good options for nice sniffy walks to stretch your legs and give your dog a break from the car. Google Maps can guide you to these things along your route. Now, let's talk about a few safety items. First, I want you to know that the risk of the dog running away while on the trip is higher than at home. 
It's a lot of new things for him, no matter how much you've prepared. Sometimes it's hard to know when the dog reaches that threshold of enough is enough, I'm ready to go home now. So he simply bolts when he has the chance. The flight response is common when our dogs tip over their threshold. Now I want you to expect that your dog might act like he's never acted before. So do everything you can to keep him safe. Make sure he's microchipped and is wearing a collar with your phone number. Now a location tracking device or a collar can also be one more measure of safety. Never allow your pup to get out of the car without a leash on. If something were to startle him, you would have no control over where he goes. Always connect the leash before you take off the seatbelt. Okay, now that we've got your packing list and some safety tips, Let's talk about what you can do when you get to your destination. Try to stick close to the same schedule as you'd have at home. It's possible your dog will sleep more on the drive because of the rocking motion of the car, but that also means he'll have more energy when he's awake. Now, it's also possible he'll sleep less at the hotel or the destination because of all the new sights, sounds, and smells. So take your cues from your dog and just try to follow many of the same familiar cool down routines as you do at home. Routines are comforting for dogs, so I recommend them even if you aren't on a road trip. And if you're staying at hotels, make sure they're dog friendly and you know their full policy. Some have breed restrictions. Others require the dog to be in a crate when you leave the room. Now, if you can get a room on the lower floor, it's gonna make potty breaks easier for you. Make it easy on yourself by bringing shoes and clothes that are easy to throw on. Your dog might sleep through the night just fine when you're at home, but the travel schedule could cause a shift in some digestive habits, and you don't wanna deny a potty break if he's asking for one. Speaking of asking for things, are you loving this stuff? I hope you are, because we put a lot of work into producing a new video for you each week. And if you'd like to show your appreciation, give us a like, subscribe to the channel, share it with a friend, or use the super thanks. Okay, let's talk about when you get to the destination. Now, when you first get to your hotel or wherever you're staying, I want you to take your dog to the place you want them to go potty. Do your best not to let them inside before they potty. And once you settle in, watch the schedule like a hawk and offer potty breaks more than you do at home. Now, if your dog uses the bells to alert you to a potty break, bring them. Just don't rely on them fully. Watch the schedule. That's gonna be your number one tool. It's also important to keep your dog's temperament in mind when you do this trip. So if he's naturally easygoing and he seems to be up for any adventure, this might not be a lot of extra work for you. Eh, if you have a dog that startles easily and has some anxious tendencies, you're gonna have to put in a little bit more effort to help make this a positive experience. Just remember that behaviors don't get better by ignoring them. Behaviors get better with time and really mostly with training. Now, during the whole trip, you're gonna to wanna to pay close attention to your dog's body language to ensure he or she is comfortable and relaxed. Likewise, it's important to recognize fear in your dog and know what to do about it. So if we push our dogs past their comfort zone, they're less likely to trust us and we're more likely to see a lot more unwanted behaviors pop up. Understanding canine body language will also be key so brush up on your Duolingo canine body lessons now. And if you're not sure what to look for in a fearful dog, this video will be the next one you'll wanna watch. Now, your dog is relying on you to keep him safe and keep him in a position of comfort. He believes in you, and so do I. All right, I think you've got some great info to make this a super great adventure. And if you have any questions, let us know in the comments. Where are you headed on your next trip? All right, this is Michelle Lennon, your favorite puppy expert and certified dog trainer, signing off.